If you take a moment to notice the wildflowers in your area and the pollinators around them, you'd probably be amazed at what you see. The multitude of shapes, colors, and characteristics of the native insects involved in moving pollen from one wildflower to another is fascinating. Insect pollinators such as bees, moths, butterflies, wasps, beetles, and flies come in a wide range of shapes and sizes so they can exploit a multiplicity of wildflowers using a variety of tactics. Mark Dayroop is an insect ecologist at Archbold Biological Station near Lake Placid, Florida, and has been studying insects in Florida for over 25 years. If we were to just talk about all the different insects that visit Florida flowers, the native pollinators, uh, we would obviously be here all day because we are dealing with probably over 2,000 species. It's an enormous group. This includes uh, over 200 species of native bees, and they do different things. Different species do different things. Uh, many of them visit a variety of flowers, but some of them only visit a few. Uh, the bees are extremely efficient pollinators because they are collecting nectar and pollen not only for themselves, but also for their young, which means they have to make many trips to and from flowers in order to gather enough pollen and nectar. In addition to that, there are beetles. Beetles visit flowers to uh, gather pollen to eat or to drink nectar right from the flower. And certain of our plants, like magnolias, are very dependent on beetles, also pawpaws. There are many species of wasps that visit flowers. These wasps are there to, mostly to gather nectar and sometimes to look for mates. And a few species are also predators. But the important thing is they go from flower to flower very readily, just like a bee does. And when they do that, they transfer pollen. Uh, they're hundreds of species, literally hundreds of species of wasps here in Florida that visit flowers. And they are the major pollinators of a whole series of species of our native plants. In addition to that, there are insects called bee flies. <clears throat> bee flies are feeders on nectar and pollen as adults. And they fly also from flower to flower. <clears throat> They're furry, so they carry pollen extremely efficiently and they often visit flowers that bees ignore because it's too difficult for bees to get their tongues into these flowers. So a whole series of flowers are specifically dependent on bee flies. Flowers in general have both male and female parts. For cross-pollination to occur, male pollen grains from one species of flower have to be picked up and transferred to the female stigma of the same species of flower on a different plant. If pollination is successful, a flower produces seeds that continue plant populations and can also bear fruit that feeds animals, including humans. On the other hand, if a busy bumblebee, for example, picks up pollen from one species of flower, but carries it to a different species of flower, the entire pollination process is wasted and fertilization fails. That's why native wildflowers come in such a tremendous variety of amazing shapes, colors, and sizes to help them attract and retain their own loyal pollinators. One of the most important things about plants uh, it, flowering plants is their flowers are different from each other and this causes insects to become faithful it's called flower constancy to one particular kind of flower and this is what causes cross-pollination an insect goes from flower to flower of one species and the diversity of flowers is really a reflection of the need to instill what you might call brand constancy uh, just as people might go from one McDonald's to another, they might go from one cactus flower to another, instead of going from a cactus flower to a St. John's wort to some other flower. For example, the familiar prickly pear cactus flower has a whole variety of insects that visit it. As you could see by looking at any cactus flower over a period of a few minutes, there are specialized bees that only visit cactus flowers in addition to that, there are much more generalized bees that visit cactus flowers and many other kinds of flowers. But when they're visiting cactus flowers, 
they have what's called a search image, a big yellow fuzzy looking flower, and they just go from flower to flower of that one species.